Pisces, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading. Yes, 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 readings are timeless, my loves. So if you found this message or this message found you, then there is something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts. Pick a note. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now, okay? Please don't curse me in the comments. I love you too. Guys, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. In advance, I thank you for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you again. This information is all about energy. I will use terms like he, she, heifer. You never know. <laughs> but it's all energy, no gender, okay? Take it how it resonates for you in your life. Or crisscross it, you know? Ooh, okay, Pisces, let's talk about it. showtime. It's showtime, it's showtime, it's showtime, it's showtime, it's showtime. That's what I'm hearing. Um, kind of like the Apollo song. Or um, if you're not familiar with Apollo, then uh, the gong show. You know, it's time to perform. It's time to gather all your resources, all that you've learned, all of you, all of your skills, all of your knowledge, your talents. It's time to show the world what you have, what you're working with, what you can do, what you're bringing to the stage, because the spotlight is on you. Your um, Oracle of the Seven Energies, pool called number 30, shining through. Bottom of the deck, in perfect harmony, card number 11. Shining through speaks to all of those things I just said. Um, just gathering your talents, all that you've learned, your, your skills, things like that. Um, and basically displaying them, um, using them, utilizing them, giving them uh, your gifts to the world, okay? Uh, doing your part and more than because Pisces, you're shining beautifully, especially with perfect harmony at the bottom of the deck. These are tidbits, you know, um, things that you've picked up along the way. Um, maybe watching this person cook and that person cook and that person cook, but now you've mastered the dish in your own way. Uh, perfect harmony requires notes that come together to create the song, you know, and that's what you are right now uh, and the energy that's around you. Uh, your energy is basically saying that you've done and learned and mastered so much throughout your life and now it's time it's time to give it back and let the world know you know who you are where you stand what you stand for and what you have to give all right i'm going to use dreams of gaia here center energy please wow five of earth i don't like that <sighs> And traditional tarot, five of pentacles would be being left out in the cold, isolated, separated, desolated, things like that. Um, and the dreams of Gaia, it speaks to those things due to trickery. Okay. There's somebody that has been hurt in the background, deceived, stole things, something stole from them, taken from them. While this figure here is holding the cards and the jewels. Okay, be mindful of your surroundings. What's crowning this energy for Pisces, please? What's crowning the energy for Pisces? Um, I just heard somebody took one of your shoes or one of every shoe. I'm so sorry, that's so stupid. Um Six of air here. That just pissed me off. Oh. Six of air. Six of swords energy in traditional tarot is leaving chaos behind 
going towards calmer waters. It could speak to moving. Um, it is definitely a moving energy, uh, but it can speak to physically moving locations, changing jobs, changing, leaving a relationship, things like that. Um, basically, uh, in Dreams of Gaia, it's the same type of energy, but it's more uh, integrating than separating. Um, understanding that there's two sides to every story. There's two sides to every coin. And you know what? It's still the same coin. You understand? This energy integrates the good, the bad, the indifferent, um, and learns how to deal with it, learns how to um, handle it. Because um, even though there's good and bad, the chakras are still aligned. You understand? Channels um, can still be received. Channeling can still be received. Um, spiritual downloads and things like that because you realize that everybody has two sides to them or some people you just have to take for who they are and how they are. You know what I mean? Um, and at that point, you just decide whether or not you want to continue being bothered. Uh, what's undermining this energy for Pisces, please? Thank you. The Queen of Fire, Queen of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This heifer here is causing some havoc in your life, period. Whoever this energy is to you, male, female, fire sign, don't matter to me. Uh, but they're, they are a person that uh, who is extremely intelligent and a worthy adversary. Uh, this person is a go-getter and will stop at nothing and will tear down anyone in their way. Um The queen has to win at all costs. Uh, consequences be damned. Be mindful of that because some battles aren't worth fighting. When you're wor when you're fighting somebody that fights dirty, you know what I mean. Uh, what brought this on? Past energy, please. For Pisces, thank you. The eight of fire. Some type of message, information that came in, and it came in quick. This is also fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, it can also represent travel or distance, downloads, intuitive energy. You got a, you got some kind of information in the past that God gave you, and you know it was from the divine. I don't care if it came out of somebody's mouth. You know it was from God. Where's this going? Future energy, please, for Pisces. Oh, shoot. Seriously? Destiny. Nine of air. Nine of earth. The maiden. Abundance. Death. I will take it all. Whoo! Shamalama ding dong. Yes, Pisces. That's how you handle the situation, baby. You blow up. Center stage, that's what I'm talking about. See, shining through, perfect harmony. You're going to take all that you learned from this here and you're going to turn it into a blow up. And God is working with you all the way through it. The Ten of Earth at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles energy. Whew. Blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings and blessings on lessons, okay? For you and them, period, period. I mean, when I tell you that this is going to change you with that death and rebirth, scorpionic energy here, moving you into right into abundance, because abundance doesn't have to be, you know, money. Abundance can be freedom. It can be knowledge, understanding, wisdom, and all the beautiful things that come with it, like money. Hello? <laughs> But from abundance, you move right into the maiden, which is a, such a freeing, freeing, freeing energy, okay? It's fertile. It's self-love. It's self-confidence. It's sexy. It's taking in um, the, the, the beauty of life. It's smelling the flowers and appreciating uh, who you are and your relationship with God and, and just the wonderful things that he's done. Uh regardless to what you've been through. You just know that you're blessed. We're moving right into this nine of earth. Nine of pentacles and energy speaks to, uh, in traditional tarot, independence, okay? Uh, financial gain, financial security, uh, financial independence, uh, 
being in a place where you may be alone, but you're not lonely because you know you're intuitively, intuitively connected with the divine. Um, being in a place where you're saying, God, I'm ready when you are. But in the meantime, you're looking good, you're smelling good, and you're loving life because you have an optimism about life. Nine of air energy here. This is somebody open to uh, uh, wonderful uh outcomes like they're expecting great things they might not be standing in them today but they know tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day you, you understand what i'm saying uh the optimistic view on life will change your energy it changes your perspective it um puts you in a forward motion so that you can move right into your destiny which is what, what you've been prepared for whatever this destiny is for you that's between you and god but right now this journey has made you pick up a whole lot of tidbits or through time and through people specifically um and you're putting it together to create perfect harmony to create perfect harmony. You see people, good and bad, you accept them for who they are, how they are, and you deal with them accordingly. And you're gonna be blessed. This is gonna give you the financial security, the home security, the insecurity in your spirit to ground in. You, you understand what I'm saying? Ooh, seeking answers, advice, knowledge, spirit guides assisting you you see yourself and everybody for what they are who they are how they are where they're going where you're going and you're just expecting great things of yourself that is so beautiful that's faith beyond measure you understand what i'm saying and you realize that faith without work is dead my loves so you're trying to get the mojo moving Get the steps moving, get the twerking, or whatever that, whatever you're doing in your life. You're trying to get it going, get it going, get it going. But it seems like you kept running into this, that, and third within other people. I don't even think it was life obstacles that was stopping you. It was people, um, friends, family. It's a shame, but it's the truth. You understand? And you know now you see them for who they are. You see that they're deceivers, that they're conniving. That they're self gratifying, you know. They would never, they were never worried about your highest good. They were worried about their own, and they were going to step on your neck to step higher. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to clarify this with the secret of tarot. Ooh, Shamalama, ding dong, Pisces. That's how you shit on them. Blow up, and do so gracefully, so elegantly with a smile on your face. I mean, this is GQ magazine right here. Hello? <laughs> Pisces. Woo. Thank you so much because that heifer was giving me a headache. That energy. Just hateful. Hateful, hateful, hateful. I want to start with what happened. I want to I want to know about what you know. Eight of fire, past energy, that divine. Ooh, okay. Death, Scorpio again. Huh. You may have Scorpio in your chart, be connected in some way, shape, or form, or have a friend that's a Scorpio that spilled all the beans. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. It's early. I'm still sipping on coffee. Um... Somebody spilled all the beans and it changed everything. It definitely ended a cycle so that you can embrace the new one. But in order to do that, you had to go through and really acknowledge people for who they were and how they were and what they meant for you and your life. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, clarify the death energy, please, in the past. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Wow. Toilet paper torture. That's what I call it. Toilet paper torture. That eight of swords energy. You realize somebody was playing mind games with you, keeping you trapped, keeping you stuck, um, on, stuck on stupid. That's basically what that is. That's called stuck on stupid. Hello? Toilet paper torture. Tell me about the five of earth and the current energy. What's going on today with Pisces? Thank you. All right. Seven of Swords reverse. See, you know now. You know what's going on. King of Wands and Nine of Cups. You know what's going on. 
and you realize how selfish this fire sign is to you in your life. They are so friggin' selfish and self-gratifying. And it's a shame because the qualities of a king and queen of fire in their positive aspect is so friggin' beautiful. It has no measure. Like it's so much passion and drive and determination and focus. But in in their bag, ooh we they a mother lover. They are a mother lover. Um But you have clarity. Let's talk about the six of air crowning. Four of wands. See, that balance is crazy. This is what I'm saying. You're really taking both sides. You're seeing things how they are and people for who they are and you're understanding them, which is helping you understand you so that now you don't have to overgive or um, short yourself because they're just being themselves. You know, this is like, oh, that's just such and such. That's just how they are. And you let it go and it rolls right off of you. You don't internalize it anymore. You understand what I'm saying? Tell me more. Six of air, four of wands. Heavy emphasis on family with this energy, guys. Somebody extremely close to you. Seven of pentacles. Same thing. You're not giving no more to this than it deserves, period. And Pisces, that is such an accomplishment. People go through their whole lives and don't reach the point that you're at right now, not realizing what's wrong. And you've realized what's wrong, that people are people. There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with you. People are just people, period. They're going to do what they're going to do. You have your own journey. You have your own destiny. And that's what you're working towards and moving towards and expecting great things. And when you expect get great things of God, he blesses you with great things and greater things. Okay. Now let's just talk about this heifer so that we can get into this positive energy. Cause I'm going to need this positive energy to get me out of this heifer here. Queen of fire undermining Pisces. The sun reverse. Hello. Dark. Dismal depressed, hiding, uh, hiding, hiding, uh, secrets, uh, information. Um, who, this is a, 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 what you call chameleon. That's what I want to say. Tell me more. Queen of fire, undermining Pisces and the six of swords. You know, it's it's hard to move away from a storm to the sun when you can't see the sun. It's like you're stuck in the storm. And this person is just, they give the image that they're saving you, that they're the sun and they're not. They're the storm. They're, they're a worse storm. You understand what I'm saying? But they give you the false hope. That's what this is called. This is a false hope. It, it, you know what I mean? A false friend, a false, uh, this person gives you bad advice on purpose. I ain't going to lie. Mm -hmm. This person gives you bad advice on purpose just to keep you. I don't understand. It's like they take their power is to stand over you and you're getting ready to stand. You're getting ready to surpass them and they're trying everything to stand over you. And as long as you're with your head down in a bad place, see, when you were head down, eyes covered in this toilet paper torture, you were fine. But God opened uh, opened your eyes. And now once your eyes have been open, you couldn't reclose them. You, you understand? Once you know, you can't unknow. You can't unknow. And it was your decision because you have free will to choose to act on this or to just accept it for what it is and continue on in that torture. And you said, no, I want to change. But you're realizing that this person doesn't want to change. So you have to continue on in your journey. Let me get one more on this heifer. 
Thank you. Oh, the, with a queen of sense. See, that's how you cut a mother lover. Yes. Oh. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Truth. And nothing but the truth. So help you. You understand me? But the queen teaches. She speaks and teaches. She going to cut you, but she going to tell you why. And she going to tell you how not to get cut again. So there may be a conversation that is not uh, that you're holding back from to let this person know that you see them. I see you and I know what you've been doing and I'm no longer going to allow it because I see here that you're selfish and self-centered and I can no longer provide my blessings and fill your cups. You understand what I'm saying? You have to get your own. And Pisces, kudos to you for that. So let's talk about this beautiful energy coming in here. Death, abundance, the maiden, nine of earth, nine of air, destiny. And don't be afraid of that nine of air because that's, even though you might have some sleepless nights, it's still positive thinking while you're up. You're not up stressing and headaches and tossing and turning and worrying. It's more uh, uh, um, excitement. You know, that's keeping you up. Kind of like when you're a kid and you're going on a school trip the next day. You can't sleep. You know what I'm saying? That that's It's that kind of energy, which is beautiful. Future energy for Pisces. Please clarify. Oh, that hit the floor. I don't read from the floor, guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't given me a thumbs up, please do so at this time. I'd appreciate it. Ten of Swords here. Yes, the end of this cycle. Tens are completions, okay? Um, as you walk away, unfortunately, there will be some naysayers and some jealousy. And they're going to try to stab you in the back. And that's fine. You know, we expect that. But you have a Ten of Swords here and a Ten of Earth here. That It's over regardless. Regardless. Tell me more. Future, thank you so much. Yep, Capricorn energy. Ha <laughs> ha, trying to hold you back. Come on back here, Pisces, into my domain of torture and chaos. Pisces, don't do it. Tell me more. Future energy, please. Pisces, don't, don't go back. See, it's a trick. Five of Swords is a trick. Oh, look at the enemy trying to play you, you and see why when you're stepping into your destiny, that's when the enemy gets scared. He got to come full force. Tell me. Oh, OK. And see, four of swords, nine of pentacles. You're going to go through a period of rest, relaxation and independence and freedom. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Because like I told you earlier, with this Nine of Pentacles energy, Nine of Earth energy, this is a position of freedom, independence, very intuitive. So crazy, crazy downloads, okay? But she's looking good, smelling good, feeling good in her garden and smiling because she's saying, you know what? I stand here alone, but I'm not lonely. And God, whenever you're ready, I'm ready. You understand me? So you have great things coming. Um, if this, um, this to me, applies to life as a whole, it doesn't have to be a relationship. This person uh, could be a co-worker. You know what I'm saying? This issue could have been you trying to apply for a higher position. You're realizing that your boss is not as fair-minded as they display. But that's still your boss nonetheless, so you have to learn to work with them. You understand? But now you no longer do maybe your boss's job, okay? But just know that you're stepping into great things, great security, abundance, peace, love. Oh, and I'm happy for you. I'm so happy for you. And everybody is not going to be. But lead them where they at. And you keep pushing forward, all right? Yes, Pisces, I love this. I hope this helps. If in the event that nothing here resonated with you, feel free to check your moon and rising signs, but don't take the energy with you, please. Leave it here for someone else. Don't forget, thumbs up on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And remember, we're all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.